Hi guys and girls and welcome back to another video. In today's video we're going to be making the stamina regeneration system. Last time we made a stats display in our top left corner and we also made it so whenever we sprint our stamina goes down and whenever we jump our stamina goes down. But at this point if it goes down to zero we cannot get it uh, back up again. So that's what we will be creating today. It should be very easy, so let's head on to our player motor script. What we'll need is a new void or a new function that will be called regen stamina. You can call it whatever you want. This sounds pretty good to me. In here we'll need a if statement that will say time dot time, which is time that's passed in game, minus, and now we'll need a new value for, to control this. Or actually not to control it or just to have it. It's going to be a float. It's private if you don't declare it and uh, it'll be called the last regen. So that's the time that passed from the last regen. So minus last regen is bigger than and then we say the value which again we have to go up to the top and create a new va value that is going to be float stamina regen speed and for this I'd like to set it to like five or one actually I just make it one for now and then we'll see how that goes and here we'll say if it's bigger than the stamina regen speed I will explain this later but we need to do a few things we'll just go player stats dot current stamina plus equals and we can also go up to the top and create a new float for stamina regen amount and I'll just make it also one for now but we can control it right later so we'll just say stamina regen amount here you also have to go down here and say last region equals to time dot time let me explain this a bit so time dot time is the time that passed in game if you start the game it passes five seconds time dot time is five so if 5 minus 0, whenever we first run it, this value is going to be 0. So 5 minus 0 is 5. So if 5 is bigger than stamina region speed, which is 1, that's how long we have to wait in between adding stamina. In this case, 5 is bigger than 1. And then we go player stats the current stamina plus equals stamina region amount. So we just add the amount to the current stamina. And we set the last region to time that time. So second time when we run this, time that time is maybe six, and six minus five is one. So we'll run it again. We'll keep running it this amount of seconds. So stamina region speed amount of seconds. And here we also want want to go player stats dot check stamina, just so it updates it here. Let's see how this will go, but first we have to run it in our update function. So just go region stamina like this. Right, so if stamina goes down, you will see it automatically starts regening. So it never gets below 99 because our stamina is regening the same amount that it's using. But if we jump, for example, you'll see it comes slowly back up. But we want to only regen it if we're not, if we're not running. And luckily we have a boolean value here is sprinting that is set to true whenever we sprint. So in our if statement right here, we can go if time that time minus last regen is lower or bigger, sorry, and is sprinting is false. You can type it out like this with the exclamation mark here, or you can go ahead and uh, say is sprinting equals to false or even you could go is not equal to true it's really, really depends how you like it I like it with just the exclamation mark it's easy to read and simple and it should work right now actually if we sprint you can see that it's not regening if we stop it start regening so it works perfect but there's a small problem here if we go ahead in here 
and just throw a quick print that prints something like, I don't know, Haley Steinfeld is beautiful, something like that, I mean, just top of my head. You can see that even if our stamina is 100, we're still running the function, which is something that we don't want. And even though I want this fact right here to be in my game, it's not very performant or good per for performance. So what we'll do is in the if statement also say and current stem or player stats dot current stamina is lower than 100. So if our current stamina is lower than 100, actually what we can do is go player stats dot max stamina. So if we ever change it, we don't have to come back here. So our max stamina is 100 in this case because we set it in our player stats. So if current stamina is lower than max stamina, that means that it's not 100 and that we want to regen. Right now, if we bring back this beautiful print function like this, if we run the game now with this print function and with the new if statement variable, you will see that it's not uh, running the function or it's not printing because the function isn't getting ran because our stamina is 100. If I sprint and stop and start regenerating, it will start printing it out again. And it seems like we have a small problem here that we're printing not enough stamina somewhere. Okay, let's just delete that. I don't think we really need it. So I'll also delete this print function because also it's not necessary and now if we play the game to run or even jump and our stamina will regen so that's it for this episode if you enjoyed be sure to leave a like if you if you learned something also leave a like comment down below subscribe you can go follow my social media and my patreon there's links to that in the description and hopefully i'll see you next time Bye bye